QR scan allows for Jade users to interact with their wallet app without the use of Bluetooth or USB-C for improved compatibility, which might offer some security improvements as well. QR scan gives users the ability to log into Jade, verify addresses, and sign Bitcoin transactions solely using Jade's camera. One of the more popular software wallets you can use QR scan with is Nunchuck. Blockstream Green is not yet compatible with QR scan, but it's on the roadmap. I'll have a full list of wallets in the description box down below. Before going into more detail, there are two concepts we should familiarize ourselves with, and the first being verifying addresses. Verifying an address, which entails scanning a QR code of a Bitcoin address, and Jade verifies whether or not it belongs to your wallet. The second is signing a transaction. This involves creating a transaction on a companion app to craft an unsigned Bitcoin transaction in the form of QR codes. After scanning and signing on your device, Jade will display the signed transaction as a series of QR codes that can be scanned by your compatible wallet app for broadcasting. As mentioned earlier, QR scan is a great way to improve compatibility, but we have to remember that there are always trade-offs with different technologies. Other than improved security due to a more controlled and strict communication method, you have more choices when deciding what companion wallet to use with your Jade. With QR scan, Blue Wallet, Nunchuck, Sparrow, Spectre, and Keeper are all now usable with an air gap Jade. However, some users may find unlocking and signing operations with QR scan can be slower and may require ideal lighting conditions. In contrast, using your Jade via USB-C or Bluetooth can be done in any condition, especially in the dark or low lighting, and more importantly, is fully compatible with the Blockstream Green, one of the most secure software wallets on the market. But hey, I might just be a little biased. But using a USB and Bluetooth connection also has its trade-offs. First, it's not compatible with as many popular software wallets and requires a constant connection with the companion device in use. 